three pointers I think that are most important for somebody establishing a business uh, in Dubai would be certainly number one, choosing the right jurisdiction. Uh, now, what I mean by that is, do you need to be in a free zone uh, and have the, the uh, fully ownership of the shares in your own name? Or does the activity that you're going to be working in, uh, does the capacity of that activity require you to have an, what's called an LLC or an onshore mainland company? So that's very important. Um, the second point, of, of course, for some it might be first point, is budget. Um, the difference between setting up in one jurisdiction versus another can be substantial. Uh, the third point then, starting up, of course, comes back to budget, but would be cash flow. Um, how much can you afford? How long can you run for uh, in case of business being slow to begin with? If you're going to be active in the evening, take one evening where you're working and then try and do the family life if you can, because before you know it, you know, you're in Dubai 10 years and, you know, your family is getting more and more difficult to deal with because you're not spending enough time at home. So yeah, it's a tricky balance, but one I hope that I'm managing. I think style is important. Uh, and I think, you know, if we're all in a, more or less a client facing business, um, and I think if you, if you look good, you will feel good. And if you feel good, it potentially makes you then a more personable person to the person you're dealing with. And I tried many different uh, um, tailors and manufacturers around town until I found Ascot's. And uh, for me, the choice of fabrics, um, the, the level of tailoring is fantastic. And, uh, and it's very good value uh, as well.